welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy. I got two packages in the mail today. Not sure which one I am more excited to open. I got a plant or a plant package, yes, a package of plants that I had ordered. And I got this package from your creative studio. So I'm going to share the unboxing of this one. You're probably more interested in it. I did go ahead and just open this tape here. I have not opened anything else. This is my first time getting one of these packages. So I'm kind of excited, kind of a little nervous about what might be inside. I did not undo those tapes. I opened the one and didn't open the sides. All right, are you ready? Here we go. All right, and like I said, this is your creative studio is where I got this package from. And it's got a pretty card in it. I like that with the butterflies. And those look like poppies, but I'm not positive. And it says, thank you for your purchase. Very pretty card though. That's easily reusable. Just cover up the words on the back. All right, so I'm gonna count that as part of what, of what I received. Now I have seen a couple of unboxings from your creative studio before. That's where I actually got the information to order one. So I'm going to set my empty box over here to the side and put what I take out of the package into it so I can keep it all together and it doesn't get lost in the chaos of my creative space. I like this paper. I like that paper a lot. I don't know if I can undo the sticker, but I can still use torn paper, even if it gets torn a little bit, or even a lot, I can use it. I can't imagine this being so torn that it was unusable. That's not a raven, is it? No, I got a little excited because I'm trying to put together things for an Edgar Allan Poe journal. And Considering how long it takes me to gather things sometimes, I've got plenty of time. I do like that paper though. And I'm not gonna hem and haw over each and every little thing. I should probably get a different pair of scissors though, because those are gonna be easier to open. I didn't mean scissors, I meant a cutting tool. <laughs> And this is a slice by, I can't read the information. I'll see if I can find it though. And it's just a very tiny little ceramic blade. And I can just cut right across there. It's easier if you're cutting on a flat surface and not with whatever's in the package behind it. But it also doesn't cut very deep. So this first one says masking tape slash washi. And that's basically all masking tape is, is, or washi tape is, is masking tape. They're both paper tapes. One just has a design on it and one doesn't. I can use these bags too, definitely. That is pretty. Let me see if I can pull it out here. Orange, so it's my favorite color. Can't ever fault for the fault that. Hmm. See if I can stick this on here. <sighs> it has been a few years, I think, since I've done an unboxing of any type. There, I think that's a very pretty print. Still can't tell for sure what flower it's supposed to be, but it's pretty. Actually, I'm just going to leave that on there until I figure out what I want to do with it. Put this back in the bag. So this one says cling stamp.
Ooh, that's pretty. And it's got this so that you can put it on one of the stamp blocks. Not sticky sticky, but it's more like a uh, static friction cling type thing. It's very pretty. It's a banner with some florals. I like that. That's nice. This is another cling stamp. I'm thinking that the picture here corresponds to what's inside of the envelope. Yeah, oh, but there's three stamps. And it only shows one on there, so I guess I can't use that as an absolute. But there's a bouquet of stamps with a banner going through, and then a smaller little stamp here with a fern and some leaves and then this looks like a rose with some flowers and another set of leaves those are all very pretty and another stamp there's a lot of stamps in this package oh and that's a great big spray of stamps. Pretty. I like those. Okie doke. So let's see what's in here. And this says to go far away and then I don't know Japanese or Chinese, whichever that is. I'm going to say that's Japanese. Nope, Chinese. It says made in China. So it's Chinese. These are pretty. These are like little, pretty sure they're stickers. Yep, they're, they're little washi stickers. So they're just paper stickers. Very nice, very nice. Most all of them, if not all of them, have some gold imprinting on them or frames or some other kind of decoration. Those are very pretty. Different colors, all are floral. That's nice. And this package says memory letter. And it looks like, it looks like it is glued on the end. So you would pull them out like a notepad and they're all different kinds of postcards. Those are very cute on craft paper and on regular white paper. Those are pretty. I like those a lot. Let's see, next this says flowers, small town. Some odd phrasing on these things. trying to see if I can tell what they are before I start taking them out of the package. But I can't find anything in a language that I write or read. Okay, so this looks like a mix of papers, different specialty papers. That one looks like a mulberry type paper, but I can't tell. Oh, it's, but it's printed on there. This is a vellum, different sizes and shapes, and just a mix of paper and vellum. Those are really pretty. Let's see, this one says Mocard and I don't know, I can't read anything. So I'm gonna open it up. These look like they are either washi or vellum stickers. Yeah, these are washi stickers. Those are paper stickers. And those are very pretty. 
We've got some stamp shapes and some tag shapes. It looks like with torn edges. I like those. That that looks odd. Hmm. Maybe that's supposed to look like a burnt edge too. I think if I was gonna use this one though, I might cut up to the burnt edge a little bit more. Not off, but up to where there wasn't that white edge showing on it. And then also, that is very usable. It says Plant Drawings Time Fragrance Series. I like that though. It's kind of funny, I was reading the words though, and it says, The Little Orphan, Election Returns, Shakespeare's Something, uh, somebody among his something, view of the city of New York, it's just a, just a list. <laughs> it's supposed to look like a list of different things, which it is, it's a list of different things. Ooh, stencils. I, I am a sucker for stencils. And I think there's two in here. There are. This first one, and white on white is not gonna show. Um, let's see, let's try this one. Nope, that's too busy. Okay, here, I've got a piece of coffee dyed paper. Is that gonna show? Not really. Tommy, you just really need a dark piece of paper. There, I think that shows. I think that's pretty. It's kind of a floral and kind of a damask at the same time. And then this one is also a floral with leaves and branches. Now, I don't think those two would stack together. I don't think that they're meant to be layering stencils. Although it does have stencil one, one and stencil one, two. I just don't think they were meant to be used together. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to test that out and see if it works. Next, I like how this is tied up. Again, it says Mo card. And I can't. I keep staring at the back like I'm just suddenly going to be able to read it. Tie this. It looks like jute twine. Oh, that's a pocket. That's not just wrapped up. Oh, there's more stuff behind it. I thought it was just going to be these papers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Thursday, Saturday. Are these stickers or paper pieces? These are paper pieces. Have some circles. Do I get all the days of the week? Got labels. Wednesday, Let's see Thursday, comes after Wednesday. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I get the whole week. Yay. And then some more labels. And here, let's see, are these gonna be all papers? These are all very lightweight papers that look like letters and lists. This one looks like a recipe. That's some handmade paper. This is a texture paper. And that's, is that, what is this? Is this, oh, it's two pieces of cardstock that have a parchment print to them. I like those. Let's see, what have we here? 
These look like they're going to be, I'm going to say these are going to be vellum stickers. Yes, those are clear vellum stickers. They all look like stamps. It's the same image. Pretty. And then here's some. I think I saw these on another video. Yes, these are some stickers as well. And these are just like regular stickers that you peel off. I like those. Those definitely look like poppies to me. I haven't been able to identify most of them, but I'm pretty sure these are both poppies. There's a larger package. Oh, let's go ahead and look at the rub-ons. Definitely some poppies in there with the rub-ons. Comes with the little tool and instructions in English for those of us who are not fluent in any other languages. I need to get my app out and start learning again. Oh, here we go. There's three sheets and it looks like different images on each sheet. And I'm actually going to put those back in. That's pretty too. Actually going to put these back in the package so that I don't accidentally mess up the rub-ons. Everything else I just kind of laid in the box in a neat pile with its others, but this one I think I would, I would damage. All right, so what is in this last package? It says, <laughs> it's got six sticker papers, six vellum papers, six art papers, and six pattern papers. Let's see if I can figure out which one's which. That's one of the papers. That's pretty. That's the backing. That's very pretty. I'm going to turn it over so I've got my list. All right. So this, I think, is going to be regular paper. And those are all the same. Ooh, I like that. I like dragonflies. More of the poppies, and there's poppies on there. So I'm going to say this is a poppy-themed kit. That's probably what the washi tape was too. Those orange flowers were probably poppies. Let's see, okay, and this is a thicker paper. So this may be art paper in the same prints. Well, <laughs> I think maybe I can't tell the difference. This is obviously the vellum. Very pretty. Okay, so that's definitely the vellum. Now let's see if I can figure out which one's the sticker paper. That one is not sticker paper. the same print as that one. So one of these two is sticker paper. I think this is the sticker paper. Yep, that's the sticker paper. So you're going to have to feel which one has the edge on it for the sticker because the sticker paper looks and feels a lot like the art paper. The art paper just has a lot more texture to it and the pattern paper is a very, very smooth paper. I'll get these four out so you can see them together. Let's 
So they look, obviously, look exactly the same, except for the vellum, which is lighter weight, but it's the same print. You can see that right there, it's the same print. And I just found out that this one is the sticker paper. Doesn't feel very sticky though. Oh, well that's odd. <laughs> the part that's sticky is that backing. It's not the front part. Well, I wonder if that was a mistake. And then this is the art paper and this is the regular paper. All right, so I'm not unhappy with any of that box except for maybe the sticker paper. I may be a little disappointed with it. Let me see if I can find the others and see if maybe that was a, a one-off. Because that's disappointing. That's the art paper. That's the art paper. And that's the art paper vellum art paper, vellum, vellum. One of these is vellum and one of them is sticker paper. Or not vellum, one's art paper. Let's see which part's sticky on this one. I can tell it's the sticker. I just want to know which part is sticky. Yep, same with that. What's the good of that part being sticky? I don't know. I am going to figure that these are probably all like that. Yep. It's not that I can't use the front part, it's just that it's no good if it's the back part that's sticky saying that it's sticky sticker paper. Now, I could probably run this through a printer and print something on the back and then it would be a sticker paper. Oh, this one's sticky on the right side. <laughs> the last one is the stickies on the right side. <laughs> okay, overall though, with that little exception, this is a very nice box. I can't wait to, to use some of these things. I already have ideas floating around in my head. All right, so have you ever gotten a creative, your creative studio box? What did you think of it? And what do you think of this box? You can be honest with me because I was honest with you about this. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, be kind. Bye. And for those who are interested, my plants are all right here too. And they all look really good. I've got Shasta daisies. I've got a mandarin flame azalea. I've got ruby slippers hen and chicks. And I have a blue something, a blue, let's see, ruby heart hen and chicks, mandarin lights, azalea, and teller's blue hydrangea. And they all look really healthy. Yay!